Crazy Will here today. Today we're going to be talking about the Yi camera and how easy it is to set up. Stay tuned. Crazy Will here for Crazy Will's Tech Show, the show that helps you make things easy to use. Today I want to talk about the Yi Home security camera. I have talked about this in the past, guys. The reason why I'm bringing it up again is because I am setting up a brand new one for my office so I can keep track of what's going on in my office and also for my wife so that way when she comes walking through the door and I'm right in the middle of a shoot, I don't get mad. What we're gonna go through today is all the questions that I had when I first saw this camera. How do you set it up? Does it come with a chip? Does it do this? And I'm gonna make it fast for you guys. I know my videos can be a little long from time to time, but I'm gonna try make this one as much as possible. So I'm gonna shut the hell up and I'm gonna get to work now. Okay, so I wanna do a quick unboxing. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna open it up for the first time, guys. I've waited to do this for you guys so I could set it up. So we're gonna open it up. Oh! So that's what it looks like in the package. Pretty basic, it's, you know, got the YE. We're gonna pull it out. Okay, that's what it looks like in the package. And that's about the size. You can see it compared to my hand. I'm gonna pull it out like that. And that is basically the camera. So we're gonna, and that, that's it right there, guys. That's this, again, this camera is 1080p. It's got a place in the back where it tells you to put in the chip. I'm covering my little uh, camera thing so you guys can't view my ass. I don't want you guys seeing me 24-7. It's just, it's just not pretty when I don't edit it. Um, if, at this point, guys, if you want to see more details about this, you can go to my other video. It explains my $40 camera deal. It shows you the lower end one. and also I also do explain the higher end one. But in this video, like I said, it's 1080p. And it has a little memory slot that goes right in the corner there. I want to show you that. That's the memory slot. You push that right in there. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I have a memory card that I purchased. Usually you can get these little mini SD cards for around 15 to $20. It's a 32 gig that you could put in there. So keep that in mind. That's the highest I believe it goes is 32 gigs. And that'll roughly give you quite a few days. I mean, it's only recording on motion. So whenever it sees something, it starts recording. I get probably, I'd say it's about 15 days because that's what my experience has been. Okay, so this is the memory card that goes in there and it's not this size, believe it or not. We're gonna open this up. If you buy them, they usually come with an adapter. This is the adapter. This is the actual chip that's gonna go into that camera. I'm gonna push in this chip just like so. I'm gonna push it right in there and it's got a little spring. So don't let go of it, otherwise it'll shoot right back at you. And it just fires. Okay, note to self guys. Um, if you push in on the chip, it might shoot out right across the damn room and you might lose this little chip. So make sure you keep your thumb on it. Okay, so we're gonna push this little chip in. Again, this should be the easy part. There you go, you have a little click. And now you see it's right in there. Peel this sticker off, because we don't need it anymore. Put it in, put it in. Just to let you know guys, you can take this out of the mount. You push in on the clips on the side, and you know, let me see if I can show you them better. If you push it on these little clips on the side there, you can pop it out of this. I mean, this is just a holder. So this is the whole camera right there, guys. That's it. So if you wanted to, you could put this in a, in a bear. You could put it in a place where you couldn't see. Now, any pervids out there, don't be friggin' taking my advice to set up something nasty to tape people that don't know it. So don't be an asshole. So you just push that back in and that's how it'll sit. Another tip I wanna tell you guys about, and a lot of people don't know this because I noticed they're selling a lot of mounts. You can mount this to the wall. This comes off, you just twist it and it comes off. And if you see there, there's three screw holes. So you can mount this onto the wall. And I noticed they sell kits and it doesn't make sense to me because you could just mount this disc to the wall and then just nicely goes in like so. And I'm sorry for my dog snoring in the background, but it just clips in and then clips off. So you just twist it and it goes right there. And then you, you know, you can make it go downward shot. You can go like that. You can put it upside down. And this base is really nice. It's got a nice rubber little spot right there. I like that. On to what else is in the box. Uh, it's a nice little manual. Mission. Got other products that they sell. They, they make a lot of products that are really good. I know their action camera is called the GoPro Killer, so you might want to look into that. But yeah, you can see. Okay, so inside here is a plug. 
a Yi or Ye, however you want to say it, plug, and a cord. I had to guess. These are the ends on the cords, guys. I just like to share this. A micro USB. I'm not positive what the name is, but you can see that. And then this is just a regular standard USB. So you could hook this ultimately to any USB connector. I would say it's a six foot cord. I just stood up next to it. I'm six foot and it looks like it's a six foot cord. So there you go. I mean, that's, you know, if you need a longer cord, they do sell longer cords. What I would just tell you to do is do an extension cord, save yourself some money. But if you want the cord because you're hiding it back behind something and you think it'd be a fire hazard, they do sell longer cords for this. Just type in to YE camera. I'll put the link down below. I also put the link for the, for the camera down below too. Okay, so now it's time to show you how super easy this thing is to connect. USB. Boom, into the plug. That's it. This end goes into the camera. Goes right into the bottom, like so. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you with the with the phone how to hook it up. All right, so we're gonna plug this up. All right, so I got it plugged in and it's to a smart switch, so I gotta say, Alexa, turn on switch three. Okay. All right, so we're gonna let it boot up for the first time. Welcome to Yee Home Camera, waiting to connect. Pretty cool, it talks to you. I just took the plastic off of it. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go into my smartphone and I already have the app. And if you haven't watched my video, which you should have watched the, the YE camera video and if you're interested in these products, what you wanna do is download the app. Waiting to connect. Can you stop interrupting me? Download the app, set up a username and password, get it all logged in. And then when you do that, and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go into my YE app, Waiting click right connect. on that and it'll launch. And these are my other cameras and I reviewed them on another video. And what we're gonna do is click on the plus sign right here. And then you have a choice right now of which camera you have. The Yi 1080p home camera. So I'm gonna click on that one it says, please wait 20 seconds until the yellow light blinks. Waiting to connect. All right, so right away, it knows normally right here, you'd put your Wi-Fi and your username. This is where I have to change it because out here is my extension of my Wi-Fi. So make sure if you are using a network extension, make sure your phone is on the extension. So now I got to go back in this and start over again. This is the screen I'm at now and that's how I'm going to connect to it. So what I'm going to do is put in my password, connect to Wi-Fi. Please paste the QR code towards the camera lens and okay. wait for it to scan. Now it made me a QR code. I'll give you a little preview of what it is because I don't want to, that's what it looks like. It's a big square QR code if you have never seen one. And now I'm going to face it towards the camera. Waiting to connect. QR code scan is successful. Connecting to Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is connected. All right, so it made a QR code after I put in my Wi-Fi network and everything. It scanned it, which is really cool. I'm going to hit next now. It says it's going to pair the process. It'll take up to one to two minutes. Pairing is successful. <laughs> Pairing is successful. Camera now. You can start using your camera now. That's pretty fast, pretty cool. That's why I wanted to share it with you guys. I thought it was really, really cool how innovative this company is. And another thing that I really like is if you can look at the screen, you can pick one of these names right underneath here. And it has living room, front porch, room, bedroom, kitchen, garden, patio, living room, storage. I'm going to make it office and I'm going to hit save. All right, so there's my new camera. I wanna switch over to the actual computer and film my camera, so that way I could show you guys what settings I like to use. So. All right, so now we're in the actual phone part of the deal. I felt that it would be easier to show you what I'm doing, and these are all the camera systems that I have. We're gonna go into the E. And now I believe it's the Yi Light. They changed that. So these are the cameras that I have. I have a deck camera that I set up outside. And if, like I said, if you want to see, look back at my other videos on the on the Yi. This is the kitchen, living room, and now I have the office. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna change some of the settings. And I wanted to show you this because 
I didn't go into depth on the other video. So we're gonna click on that settings uh, symbol right there. And this is where you can name it right here. You can change the name. I'm gonna leave it office. I might change it later to studio. But what I wanna show you is we're gonna go into settings. You can rotate the image. You can, the lens distortion, which is really cool. Uh, oh, there's a current version available. So let's update it. So. As you can hear her in the background, she is downloading firmware. So I am going to stop the video. Oh, no downloaded complete. Camera will be automatically. So that'll just that shows you that you can update it. You can do stuff like that. So we're gonna look at what the camera looks like now. That is not the real room of my office. Okay. Upgrading firmware. Please keep the camera plugged in. Okay, so it's updating right now. And I'm kind of glad I show you this because you can see how it updates. Okay, so that download is complete. Um, there is updates, and that's a live view of me, so I'm gonna wave. I wanted to show you settings, so that's, let's go back to the settings. The first setting that I like to do, um, this is gonna be a wide angle shot, so let's go into lens distortion, and I'm gonna put that all the way up and see what that looks like. And, um, let's go back into settings, and I wanna show you how to make alerts work go into settings the second settings I don't know why they call it but we're gonna do motion detection and we're gonna put the sensitivity on high baby crying that's if there's a loud pitch noise like glass breaking I'm gonna turn that on frequency of alerts I'm gonna leave it on low and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I link this up to my uh, Alexa because I'm gonna have it turn off and on whenever I turn on the office so it'll be on whenever I'm not in the office and when I come in and say Alexa turn on studio it'll automatically turn off the camera and turn on all my electronics and lighting when I'm not in here it'll be on alert cloud service I don't bother with uh, UPM phone I don't do that SD card now this is what you should do right away is with the SD card it says it's in good condition we are going to uh, go to storage of the card we're gonna format the storage I recommend you do this and that way it'll format it and delete it format successful so that way you're, you know your cards good you know it's backing up you know it's doing what it's do what it needs to do and you will see the light turn amber I'm gonna say or yellow when you format the card it does kind of lock you out of the camera for a moment hi guys uh, I'm gonna switch over to the Alexa app we're gonna go into Alexa and we're gonna go in and we're gonna add to the smart home all right so I don't see okay, it so during the filming of my phone which you can see it back there with my setup I'm filming I'm trying to get it to work and I want to set up an Alexa skill unfortunately I didn't say Alexa discover new smart devices starting discovery this will take up to 20 seconds all right guys sorry for the interruption as you can see there is the new camera and we are going to rename it because if i say office now it will only think it as office so i'm actually going to go into the device itself see so i could turn it on and off from here and i'm going to edit it so that way when i call it that it'll know what i'm talking about all right, and as you can see, it's all connected to the devices. And so what I'm going to do now, so you can turn it on and off there. And now if I say, Alexa, turn off office camera, it'll, okay. it just turned off office camera. And now if I say, Alexa, turn on office camera. And now, okay. and now she turned it back on. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into routines. And I say, let's get to work when we go into the office. And this is what I normally do. So I'm going to add the camera to that action. So I'm going to add the action smart devices control and I am going to add alright so there's the office camera I'm gonna click on that and we're gonna make it turn off when we come in so when I say let's get to work and we're gonna add it now I'm gonna add um, I guess I'll call it end work so we're gonna put a saying when you say something Alright, save. Um, what I'm going to do, okay, so smart, control group, studio, and we're going to make it turn off studio, 
I'm going to hit next. We're going to add it. And then we're going to add the action. We're just going to add the camera in now. How easy is that? Add the camera. I'm going to turn it on. So we're going to leave it on. And we're going to add it. There we go. All right. Create. Successfully, it will take up to one minute for your voice to do that. All right, so let's go ahead and see how I did it. And we're going to switch over to uh, the main camera and I'll see how that works. Okay, so I set up the group, which I didn't know you could do that. They must have just recently added that in. You could add the group to the actual routines, which is really cool. They must have just added that. I found that just now. Like I said, guys, everybody's always learning. So I have the camera here, it's off, the studio's on, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, Alexa, I'm done with work. Okay. All right, so there you go, it turned it on. Alexa, let's get to work. You're good enough, you're smart enough, and doggone it, people like you. <laughs> I thought that comic was funny as hell. <laughs> It sounds simple enough for YouTube. <laughs> now I'm just gonna place the camera where I want it to go. This is basically it. I'm gonna show you at the end of this video a little video from this camera. I hope this helped, you know, giving you an idea of how they work, how they turn on and off. If this helped you guys and you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe down at the bottom. Always write me a comment if you have any questions on this stuff, just in case I didn't explain something good enough, I'll make another video. And remember, you can do anything you put your mind to. Later, guys. You thought I was a picture, didn't you? Trey, like, and subscribe. Do me a favor already.